Hello, welcome to SS Unitech Social Decide, and this is continuation of PySpark tutorial. So, in this video, we are going to see how we can read any CSV file with the schema option. So, before going forward, if you haven't watched the last video of this video series, so I would strongly recommend to watch that video where we have seen how we can create the schema. So, it means how we can create the table. So, let me quickly jump to the browser and we'll try to implement it in practical so here we are having this file which is the sales.csv file so first we will be going to read the data from this file directly and then after we will be reading the data by using the schema option and we will also see the difference so let me jump inside the azure databricks and here in this notebook let me try to read the data from the sales.csv file so as we have already created the mount point for the same so let me try to read it directly so for reading the data we should be going to use the spark dot then we need to use the read then we have to specify the option and under the option i am going to specify header value as true because this file is having header so let me make it as true next we have to specify like from which format we want to fetch the data so we want to fetch the data from the csv file so we have created the mount point which is the mnt then input and then we have the folder which is the sales and then sales.csv make sure you are typing this name correctly it means it's a case sensitive so i wanna put this inside a data frame so let me try to execute it so we should be going to see this data frame will be holding all the values from this sales.csv file so command completed now let me try to see whether we are able to see the data from this data frame or not so we can simply use the display command so as we can see sales order id date item name quantity and value but let's try to see what is the data type of all these so we can use the df dot schema so this schema option will be going to display the schema for all columns so here as we could see sales order id so which is the string type next we can also see the date which is again string type so all these are in string type so it means when we are trying to fetch the data directly without specifying the schema so all the columns data type will be string only it will not have any another data type so we don't want to specify string by default we should be going to specify the exact data type what we are having inside the columns so let me try to create the schema first as we have seen in the last video we should be going to import few functions so for those we can use the pyspark dot sql dot type so actually we are required to fetch the types and the type if we are going to specify as astic so it will be going to import all the types but we can also specify the required types so first type that is the type second required type which is the struct field next is the integer type next is the string type next is the date type so this should be in capital letter and type t will be in capital letter so all these are required for this schema so let me try to add a schema here so let me add a variable which is schema and for creating the schema as we have seen in the last video we should be going to use the struct type and inside the struct type we should be going to specify these brackets now next we have to declare all the columns so those columns will be declaring by specifying the struct field so struct field we can specify we should be having total three parameters first will be the name and second will be the type so here we have the integer type and the last parameter that 
will be indicating whether this id will be having null value or not so we don't have the null value over here so we can use the false now let me try to add another column and this column for the name as we can also verify from here so we have the soid is the first column so let me use the soid instead of the id next will be the so date so let me use the so date instead of the name and this type should be date now let me add another one and let me copy this paste it here so next is the item code so here we can see it is having the space between item and code but we don't want to put any space then simply we can use and replace this space and this item code is having the string so we can specify the string type next let me use the item name so we can simply copy the item name from here and instead of item code it should be item name and will be also deleting the space from here next we can see quantity so quantity is a integer value so the data type that should be integer and the last one which is value so we can use the value and we can remove this comma let me try to execute it okay so here we have wrongly typed the integer so let me try to correct it now let me try to execute it so we can see command is completed with success so this schema we have created now we need to bind this schema while fetching the data from the csv file so we can use the same command that we have used earlier but here we should be specifying the schema option so for that here we can use the schema so under this schema we have to specify the schema name so that is the schema again so this is the thing that you have to do and let me call this data frame as data frame new and let me try to execute it so it is executed successfully and if we can expand we should be able to see the data types over here so soid is having integer so date is date then item code item name then we can see integer then integer for the value so let me remove this backslash so everything is working as expected so let me recap what we have done earlier we have seen while fetching directly data without specifying the schema by default it will be having the data types as a string next if we are going to declare the schema and binding that schema while fetching the data from the csv file it will be picking the actual data types which we have specified inside the schema along with the column names those column names we are specifying here that will be going to return as an output of the data frame so i hope guys you have understand how we can read the csv file with the schema option thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video, please subscribe our channel to get many more videos. See you in the next video.